absolutely. Ryan Mountcastle back in the lineup today after he missed the lineup on Sunday. And of course, he crushes the Blue Jays. He hit his first career home run against the Blue Jays back in 2020. Here's the injury that he suffered, that left hand getting plunked by Jimmy Iacobona's former Oriole. Now, he still has a little bit of soreness, a little bit of swelling on that left hand, but I spoke to him earlier from the Orioles' dugout. He said he is ready to get back in the action and jam that first baseman's glove back on that swollen left hand. It's uh, I feel a little better today. Um, just got you know, I, I obviously hate missing games, you know, especially this point in the year and especially against a team like that. But um, sometimes, you know, it, it happens. But um, yeah, it's feeling a little better today. I'm going to try to go out and, you know, play with it. <laughs> it still looks a little bit swollen. Yeah. Have you tried doing anything with it that maybe it has impeded your efforts um yeah i mean i've, I've done a bunch of treatment with it um taking some meds so trying to you know like you say get the swelling down and uh, be good enough to play fit underneath the glove i'm assuming yeah yeah i might have to you know shove it in there but um yeah i'll, I'll have to deal with it <laughs> so you historically have crushed toronto what is it about this team in particular even going back to when they were in a different ballpark back in 2020 I don't know what it is. Um, I guess I, I see the ball well at their parks or whatever. But, um, yeah, it just certain teams, I think, uh, you know, you just do better against. I don't know. I don't really have an explanation for it, but uh, it just is what it is. And you do very well in this ballpark as well. Interesting that you guys are coming from Tampa, had the dome. Here it looks like the roof is going to be open tonight. Is there a vast difference for you playing first base, especially going from uh, – ballpark that has a dome like that as opposed to it being open here tonight yeah like uh you know it's gonna be a little bit of high sky it's more of the pop flies than, than anything but uh, besides that i mean it's still you know baseball at the end of the day <laughs> um it's not too big of a difference is it noticeable i guess more in tampa where the it's kind of a gray dome as opposed to here where it's a little bit darker yeah yeah i mean when this roof's closed you can see the ball really well especially the, those pop flies where in tampa it's if you take your eye off it for one second, it just disappears. So, um, yeah, it's a little easier to see those here and, um, yeah, a little easier to play. And obviously this is a huge series coming from another huge series in Tampa. First time in your big league career that you're kind of getting a taste of competitive baseball in August. How does it feel? Does it feel any different than August in previous years? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're, we're out here. We're playing hard every day, and uh, every game means something. So we're excited uh, for this series to get going, and hopefully we can uh, get some wins. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, this is the first time that Ryan Mountcastle has really had an opportunity to play important games here in August. So you heard how excited he was to be back in the lineup. The Orioles, of course, have Tyler Nevin as their backup first baseman. But they've also tried a little bit of Terran Vavra, the lefty at first base. Now he's at second base tonight, and he will be the only true lefty in the Orioles lineup as they face Yusei Kikuchi, who is dominant against left-handed hitters. So they're hoping that Ryan Mountcastle inserted back into the middle of that lineup gives the Orioles a little bit of a boost after struggling offensively on Sunday. Let's get it back up to Kevin and Ben.